Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to be editing this image of my son surprising my daughters with some flowers. So, as you can see in the before, we had really, really pretty light that day. Uh, this was taken about an hour and a half before sunset, and I just got so lucky with this light. It made me happy. So anyway, this is where we're going to start, and here's where we're going to finish. So before and after. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is run the image base, which I like to do for all of my photos. Um, it adds contrast, brightens up, adds a little bit of color, and darkens the edges, which I love. So we are going to make sure that the brightest part is over our subjects and hit OK. You don't want the dark edges to fall over them, so always make certain the light is over them. Okay, next I'm going to go into this brighten up. I like how it Brighten the background, it shows a little bit more color that way, but I do not like how bright the ground got. So what I'm going to do is take a soft black brush at 100% opacity and paint it off the ground. Now I don't mind if it runs over their shoes, I actually like it because it helps it blend a little bit more, at least in this situation, not for all images. Okay, and that looks good to me. So that's before image base and this is after. Next, what I'm going to do is run this navy sapphire. As you can see, we obviously have these gorgeous warm tones, um, which I love. But what I love even more is adding a little bit cool in with these tones. So I'm going to take a soft butt white brush and paint it on at 100% opacity. And it will come on strong like all of my actions do, but we will dial them back. Now if you're doing this for a client, I would take the time to zoom in and really get in there and make sure you mask it off. Like I'm going to mask off this purple in her hair, but I'm not going to spend too much time getting too particular. Okay, and I'm going to keep this off the grass. I have something else in store for that. Looks good on the tree. Oh, I just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to crank that down a little bit. And maybe go into here and dial that back as well. Okay, perfect. So, before, after, before, after. Next, I'm going to run this grass rescue. The ground needs a little TLC, so this is the perfect action for that. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. Go ahead and paint it on. I like how this looks even on sidewalks. It gives it just enough green-blue tint, and I just think it looks gorgeous. So I'm going to paint it on all of the ground. And again, if this is for a client, I would be zooming in and be more careful and masking off. But I'm not going to waste your time getting too particular here. So, I'm going to crank this down a little bit. That looks good to me. I'm going to go in here and maybe turn the base down a little bit as well. Okay, that looks perfect. So, this is before and after the grass rescue. Okay, so next. As you can see, we have such beautiful background, beautiful ground now, but the subjects fall a little bit flat. So I want to brighten them up a little bit. I'm going to go into the Storyville Retouch and go into the Brighten Skin. Play that. Click on here, go into the Brighten Skin, and it's going to be way, way bright at first. We're going to tone it down quite a bit. Just trust your eye and play with the slider. I like to start at 0% opacity and slide it up to where my eye thinks it looks good. And to me, that looks good. Now let me zoom in. Looks like his skin tone took on some magenta, so we're going to fix that. Go into the color correction. And I am going to reduce the magenta in here. Oops. There we go. 100% opacity, soft white brush. I think you guys get the drill now. And he's green, but we're going to dial that down. There, 
and that looks good to me. Just enough. Okay. Maybe a little bit less. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to add some ro red into her cheeks and his. Um, so we'll go into rosy cheeks and lips. And I think rosy red would be perfect here. So 100% opacity, soft white brush, click there, and here just to add a little bit of color. That looks good to me there. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out, see how I like the image overall. And it looks pretty good to me, but their hair looks a little bit flat. So I'm going to run the Dodge and Burn, which is in the freebie section on my website. Feel free to download that. And I'm going to dial this down. I like to stay between 5 and 10. 8 seems to be the sweet spot for this. Uh, and I'm just going to add a little contrast to their hair. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm currently burning here. Maybe a little bit on her eyebrow. Okay, and now with a soft white brush, I am going to dodge some highlights in their hair. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you're getting, um, unless you're using this on a portrait up close, I would spend a lot more time um, making sure you hit all the right spots. Go into the burn again. Okay, so before and after. Just adds a little bit of something. Okay, so this image as a whole, I'm not too thrilled about the color of the stool. So to fix that, I like to go into the hue and saturation adjustment and play around with the colors till I see something that looks good to my eye. Now, I think this is blue or cyan. You can always check by clicking this little slider thing, uh, the eye drop, and it is cyan. So from there, I'm going to adjust um, the hue slider till I see something that looks appealing with the tones it created. And that looks pretty good to me. Let's up the saturation. Maybe lower this. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So from there, I'm going to invert it. Command I for a shortcut if you are on a Mac. I'm going to zoom in really close to the stool. And I'm going to grab a white um, semi-hard brush. So I think like 40% or some around there would work nicely at 100%. And I'm going to just paint that color on the stool. Having um, a harder brush helps to where the color will not feather out too much outside of the area that you're painting, if that makes sense. <laughs> makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so that's before and after. Zooming out again. I kind of want this, this was actually burlap um, flower, so it was not real, but I think it would be nice to add a little bit of color to that. So same thing, I'm going to go into the hue and saturation adjustment and kind of play around with the sliders till I like what I see. It's like if we go to the left, it turns pinkish, and that tone works perfect. So we're going to invert it. Um, I guess you could, because this it doesn't matter if you feather a little, it might actually look better. So I'm going to use that uh, soft white brush, 100% opacity. And then that way you don't have to get too close to the edges here. Okay, I think that looks nice. And I think we're done here, guys. So let me group this all together for you. Let 
And this is before and after. Before and after. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find these actions on storybellphotography.com. Have a good day. Bye.